The NBA Draft can be a great way to turn your NBA team around, but it comes with some risk. Plus, if the ping pong balls don't fall your way, good luck getting your own Zion Williamson. That's where free agency comes in. Who are the top free agents who can hit the market in 2019? Where might they land? Here's my top 10. Number 10, D'Angelo Russell. Remember when Russell was dumped from the Lakers and looked like he was fighting for his NBA career? Things can change awfully quickly. Now he's an all-star who could cash in big. Russell is a restricted free agent, so the Nets can match any offer for him. They probably will, but somebody is going to throw out a huge contract to try and get him. Number 9. Nikola Vucevic Playing in Orlando isn't the way to make your name in the NBA, so some fans may not know quite how good Vucevic is. He just made his first All-Star team and averaged 20 points and 10 boards this year. The Magic will likely try and keep him, but there is a lot of money on the market. A team with money and some playoff upside, like the Lakers or Clippers, could lure him away. Number 8. Chris Middleton The Greek Freak isn't the only good player on the Bucks. You don't have the best record in the NBA based on just one guy. Middleton, a former second round pick, was an all-star this year, but Milwaukee may have to let him move on. He's the kind of player a team with a bit of cash, but not a ton, can afford to take a shot at. If the Knicks or Lakers strike out on the big names, Middleton could end up being the beneficiary. Number 7. Tobias Harris The Sixers have said they will try and keep both Harris and Jimmy Butler, both of whom were dealt to Philly in an attempt to bring the process to the next level. Harris could be a good target for a team like the Mavericks or the Nets, both of whom have enough space to give out a max deal. Number 6. Clay Thompson Clay will always be overshadowed on the Warriors, but he seems like the kind of player who is fine with that. Although he did seem peeved to miss out on an all NBA team this year. Kemba, Kemba got it. Uh, you were a couple. That will make it easier for the Warriors to keep him, but it will still be hard for them to pay the core of this dynasty long term. Maybe the sweet shooting guard will end up elsewhere, but it would admittedly be a surprise. Number 5. Kemba Walker. Walker is being positioned as the consolation prize of this free agency market, but that's selling him short. He's basically carried the Hornets for a few seasons, and he's been an all-star on multiple occasions. Kemba made an all-NBA team this year, which means Charlotte can give him a huge contract. Will that be enough to get him to stick around, though? Number 4. Jimmy Butler Butler has now forced himself out of Chicago and Minnesota, but there will still be teams looking to acquire his services this offseason. That's what happens when a four-time All-Star is on the market. It seems quite likely that Butler will stay in Philadelphia. The Sixers gave up a decent amount to get him in a trade, but with Jimmy Buckets, you never know. Number 3. Kyrie Irving Kyrie wanted to leave LeBron's shadow, and he got that chance in Boston. However, the responsibility has seemingly started to weigh on him, especially after the Celtics' disappointing early playoff exit. Irving may stick around, but you know the Knicks and Nets will do their best to sign him. And surprisingly as it might be, a reunion with LeBron in Los Angeles isn't out of the question. Number 2. Kawhi Leonard Heading into this season, Kawhi was a bit of a mystery. He was coming off an injury plague season and got dealt to Toronto. Turns out, he's still one of the best players in the NBA. After his playoff performance, Leonard now has to be considered the second best free agent in this class, and you can make an argument for him being the top guy. There has been a lot of talk of him heading to LA, maybe with the Lakers, but all eyes are on the Clippers. Number 1. Kevin Durant It seems inevitable that Durant will leave the Warriors. He wanted a title, he got more than one, but he also got a lot of flack for being a ring chaser. Any team would love to have KD, considering that he's one of the five best players in the NBA. The Knicks are going to do everything they can to get him, but they won't be the only ones. Thanks for watching.